Hi everyone, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I hope you guys are all doing well. So this is going to be your daily energy reading. Oh my goodness, for July 18th, 2019. For the collective, I'm using the secret tarot. They're a very thin cardboard deck. A nice deck. Sorry, guys, there's a mess here. All right, let me just shuffle this way for the collection. are so slippery. Oh my god. I just dropped the whole deck. Okay. Your central issue. Okay. The moon. Caused by the page of cups. Knight of pentacles. Knight of wands. Hangman, Ten of Cups, and the Six of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. So definitely moving from crappy times to much more calmer times, you know, moving toward peace and harmony, focused on the future. Great energy. You know, be definitely being focused on moving forward, leaving difficulties behind. You are starting out with the moon. So you do have this water energy here, and we are still in cancer season. You know, it is an emotional energy. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. I do feel like some of you are confused, like very emotional. You know, you also have the Page of Cups here. Well, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Well, oh, Scorpio or Pisces. So some of you definitely could finding out, be finding out something. Something that's been hidden. Some of you could be moving forward, moving to like maybe, maybe moving to a new home with your child, a Pisces child could be important. You have the Knight of Pentacles in your foundation. Oh, he's very cautious, practical, you know, doesn't make any moves until they're 100% sure. You know, those of you that have earth in your chart, earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, earth in your moon, you're rising. This definitely could be you, you know, really taking your time with something. Or you were very cautious with something in the past. Some of you could just be dealing with things moving very, very slowly. But in the more recent past, you have the Knight of Wands. So things definitely picked up the pace. You know, something happening suddenly, quickly. You know, so maybe something, you know, was definitely moving and progressing very slowly. 
And then, you know, bam, all of a sudden, things really start to, to happen. Things pick up the pace. You know, with the Knight of Wands, you definitely could have heard something very suddenly. Others of you, maybe you traveled. And this could all have happened, like, just very quickly, very suddenly. Crowning you, you have the Hangman. And you also have the Moon, too. So... I really feel like definitely listen to your intuition. You know, you're definitely being enlightened. And this could even be a voluntary energy because this is what you guys are thinking about. You know, and this crowning you for some of you definitely are going off, spending some time alone. And also because you're dealing with a situation where you just don't know everything yet with the moon. There's definitely secrets, confusion, and you're just like stuck in limbo feeling like you have to wait and be patient. Or even maybe sacrifice something in some way. But for those of you that your intuition is on point here, I feel like this is really good because this could mean that the truth, enlightenment is coming in for you and you're also, you know, receiving spiritual messages. And then you have the Ten of Cups. So family, relationships could be important. Some of you could be spending time with family, your spouse, partner, a child. If a child is important, spending more time with the family. Let's clarify this uh, moon though. I'm going to use Morgan Greer. See what this moon is all about. I'm also going to get you guys a Romance Angels card too. The moon. Why is the moon? Okay. They went right on the floor. Oh, all three of them. And I'm just going to, now it's only three, so that's why I'm going to keep them. Okay, the King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, the High Priestess, and the Five of Cups on the moon. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and the High Priestess. So... I did mention with the moon, this is definitely an emotional energy. Some of you could be focused on the wrong thing concerning a Scorpio Cancer, Pisces male. It could be you if you're a water sign, have water in your chart. For some of you, you definitely could be coming across very emotional, but clarity and truth secrets of his situation, this water sign male, is definitely coming to light. Whether it's a friend, a family member, someone you work with, truth and clarity regarding him is coming to light. You're going to find out the truth of his situation.
definitely make sure you're listening to your intuition, especially with the High Priestess and the King of Cups. Make sure you listen to your intuition. Honestly, my suggestion really is to spend some time alone because clarity, secrets, truth, answers are going to come to you. They really are. But I do think you're going to get your happily ever after. What does it say at the bottom of this card? Happiness, good things, parties, or celebration. And the Knight of Pentacles is always a successful energy. Young man to 25 years. Visitors' messages to share. You definitely have a lot of communication coming in. And it's definitely about this water sign. I'm going to say it's a Scorpio. What are the love messages for the collective spirit? What are the love messages for the collective spirit? Okay. Unbelievable. Okay. Wow. New love. Chemistry. These are only right in the upright. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of a holiday time together. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay, so for those of you that are getting into a new relationship or you're already married, partnered, you definitely could be rekindling the passion. Some of you definitely, again, could be traveling with your partner with the Six of Swords. I mean, definitely. And some of you absolutely have new love coming in. And others of you could be Reigniting the passion, your existing relationship. If you have new love coming in, it could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Wow, for some of you, it, it could be a and the Ace of Wands is under this. This new beginning for you guys, could we're in the sign of Cancer now. This could be happening for you now, or you're dealing with a Cancer. Ultimate victory and success card, like I said, with your happily ever after. New beginnings, whether creative, if it's a, a relationship... Like I said before, it's definitely a very physical chemistry. There's attraction. Wow. Yeah. That's very nice, guys. Leave your comments. Let me know. Beautiful reading. All right. I'll see you guys back here soon. Take care.